Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Well, hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Um, if you are new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. Um, I love to crochet, I love yarn, and um, I love anything related <laughs> to yarn and crochet. Okay, um, Thank you for um, all my new subscribers. I hope you enjoy my content. And thank you to all my returning subscribers for staying with me and supporting me. And I appreciate that very much. Well, today's video is Happy Mail video. Yay! I got some wonderful ha Happy Mail from a lady named Bonnie. So thank you, Bonnie. We have been emailing back and forth. And she is a very sweet lady. Um... So, yes, yeah, so I'll go ahead. Now, I'm not going to show everything she uh, sent me, but I will tell you that she made a, I guess it's called a wardrobe. And it's a, a case that opens up and it has drawers that pull out. It has a place to put a doll and it has a place on one side like to hang things up. And, um, and it's just awesome and she told me she made it anyway if i can remember i'll try and take a picture of it it's it's kind of big and so i didn't want to bring it in here but it is beautiful she did a wonderful job so thank you so much for that bonnie um the other thing is she gave me in this happy mail is she had this um cardigan made from a lady it's off of etsy and if i can remember i'll uh because she gave me the link to it, and I'll send the link in case you guys are inter interested in or buying it or whatever. But this is it right here, and it fits me perfectly, Bonnie. Um, it was a lady from Turkey, I think she said. But um, it fits me really good. There you go. So yes, Bonnie, I will be wearing this. See, I didn't even realize it has a tag on it. SVL Handmade Boutique. But yeah, this is just beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. There's the back side. So yes, thank you for this so much. Um, I will be wearing this. And, um, in fact, I'll probably wear this to church Sunday, now that I think about it. But I love the way the sleeves are done like this. It's really cool. But yeah, um, so thank you for that. I appreciate it. The other thing is, she gave me these, um, some little Tunisian crochet hook stuff. A little package of it. <laughs> um... Let's see, I think that's just a little card. It has some little instructions or whatever. But you guys know that I'm trying to learn some Tunisian. I've done um, maybe a couple of things in it. And um, I, I still need to learn a lot more. I want to do a Tunisian, either like a throw or even a wearable. You know, that's my goal is to do something like that with Tunisian. So I'm excited to get that. Thank you very much. The other thing is she uh, sent me, gosh, she sent quite a bit <laughs> um she did send me an american girl doll kirsten is her name and here she is i have her she handmade these this little outfit this dress the hat these little booties and bonnie i'm not sure um i think she even did the socks now the reason i have the booties on top of the sock is because i wanted you to see the booties <laughs> But, uh, and I didn't want to take the sock off. But there's the sock. Isn't that cute? She did a great job on those. But this outfit fits her to a T. It is so good. So, I, oh, and then there's bloomers with it. Forgot about that. She made little bloomers. And so I'm going to use her as a model for some of my doll patterns that I create. I think she's a wonderful addition. I mean, look at that face. Isn't that pretty? So, and I will probably most likely leave her hair like this because I don't have a doll for when I take photos of my doll patterns. I don't have a, a doll that has hair like that. So, I would definitely keep that. Um, she did make 
like some little white bloomers to go with her. And I guess this is like a little doily or a handkerchief. I'm not sure. But there's that. That's real cute. And here's like ribbon. And then there's another little pinafore. Isn't that cute? This is just adorable, Bonnie. I just love this. Oh, and her husband made these hangers. Isn't that cool? I just think it's so cool. Um, let's see. So you can see how it looks on something. He did a great job, Bonnie. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love the way that he has that curling in like that. So, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, yes. And this came with a Meet Kirsten book. That's pretty cool to have. I'm going to read this. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't care if it's a kid book. I'm going to read this. And I'll let you guys know what I think of this. Um, I have bought this for my daughter back in the day, <laughs> uh, probably in early 2000. And so hers came with a book, but I never read the book <laughs> with her. So I assume she read the book. I don't know. That was so long ago. Okay. Now here is the other thing. Um, let me fix the collar real quick. Guess who this is? <laughs> Anne of Green Gables. Look at this. I'm so excited over her. Um, did you make these clothes too, Bonnie? Um, yeah, I think she did. I think she might have made them. Yeah, there she is. Anne of Green Gables. Anne of Green Gables is one of my favorite books. Um, next to the series of Chronicles of Narnia. I love the Chronicles of Narnia. I mean, I can get lost in that book, that series, actually. I have read it front to cover. I don't know how many times. I've done audio several times. And um, Anna Green Gables is the same way. Both of those two series, I just I just can't get enough of them. I love them. And um, so I'm so excited to have her. And uh, she did come with a box. And yeah. And she's really lightweight dolls. It's crazy. I was like, wow, she barely weighs anything. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm so excited over this, Bonnie. She is a beautiful addition um, to my life right here. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. What else do I have? Okay, well, that's all that I'm going to show for the um, items that I received from Bonnie. Bonnie, that was just the sweetest thing. And I just want you to know how um, humble and blessed I feel to receive these dolls, this cardigan, I mean, it's just, in the wardrobe, it's just awesome. And I just want to say thank you. I can't say thank you enough. <laughs> but um, I truly appreciate it. And um, so, yeah. Okay, moving on. Um, the next thing that I have is I do have the poncho fit uh, finished. It was the quick and easy poncho from Crystal from Bag o Day. I love her ponchos. Um, so here's the poncho right here. And I love the way the colors come out. But look how Crystal has the bottom of this. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that for the bottom. And um, but here's the, the work, if you can see that. This lady is going to be so excited. I can't wait to give this to her Sunday. If When she does wear it to church on a Sunday, I will get a picture and I'll show that in one of my videos, if she'll let me <laughs> wear it. But I just think it's just beautiful. And I can't wait to give this to her. Um, the yarn that I use for this is the Shanghai. It's Red Heart Colorscape. Right there. And the reason I have this hooked onto this is because I'm making her a matching hat <laughs> to go with the poncho. I mean, come on, guys. When you wear a poncho... In the fall or in the winter, you gotta have a hat to go with it, right? So yeah, um, I had a one and a half of these left over, and so I thought, well, I'm just going to go ahead and make her a hat to go with it, and who knows, I might go ahead and throw in a scarf, and that way, if she don't want to wear the poncho, she'll have a hat and scarf set too. Might as well just use it up, right? 
um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing with that. And I'd like to hopefully have this finished today, the maybe the scarf and this. And then the next thing that I'm going to be working on is uh, putting, putting the pockets on the pocket shawl of She's Got Yarn too. So that, uh, this I had to get done. Um, the baby cow set I had to get done this week because that baby shower is Saturday. I really need to give this to her Sunday. It's been a few weeks uh, that I promised it to her and I haven't brought it to her yet. So I had to put this the, in the, for, uh, the top of the line, in the beginning of the line of projects to do. And, um, but now I'm adding to it a hat and a scarf. So I just added the scarf talking to you guys. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. The hook that I'm using for the hat is a J hook. And I used an eye hook on this right here. And this J hook that I'm making the hat with, this is uh, handmade, custom made, I guess you could say, by Brenda from Brenda the Newbie Crocheter. I will leave her link below. She does make these. And I requested mine to be in purple. And she puts the little tag here, the little tag, <laughs> the size of the hook right here. And she makes my shaft short because I like the short shafts because I got little fingers, short fingers. So my thumb rests right here and I can crochet with like this. So thank you, Brenda, I love these. But yeah, if you want one of these custom made, um, I will leave her email below. You can just email her and, um, and she'll make you whatever you need. She does the long shaft, the short shaft, and she's even trying out some new ones, um, different designs than this round like this. So yeah, um, let's see, what else did I have? Um, I wanted to show, hmm, well guys, I can't really remember what I wanted to show, um, I, whatever it is, I don't have it on my table, but I know I did want to, uh, tell you about the crochet hook, I'll also be posting a video sometime today of, um, the winner of the giveaway of the yarn and the sips by tea, so if you haven't entered that yet, I will leave the link, go enter it real quick because the winner will be picked today. Today's the, the last day. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all. Let's go ahead and do our 365 days of prayer. And um, it says simplicity is the title. I fear less somehow as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. 2 Corinthians 11.3 Amazing God, you contain all the complexity of the universe, yet there is an unmatched simplicity to you as well. I complicate things by bringing in the world and all its trappings, but a life lived for you is really a simple thing. It's all love. One thing, what could be simpler than that? Lord, you ask so little of me to live simply so I can love extravagantly. Why do I feel the need to make my assignment any bigger? Why do I listen to the lie that I need more? Because you are so good, even the solution is simple. Slow down, step back, and love. I'll start today with the simple request. Will you help me? Are you living simply so you can love extravagantly? I never really thought about that. That's, that's really nice. Um, okay, guys, that's all that I have for this video. Please have a wonderful weekend and just remember to live life and have fun. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.